So here we are at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Fort Lauderdale with Area General Manager Greg Cook, and we are at the club. Great to have you here, Ryan. Thanks oh, for coming today. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Me too. Greg, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about your history in the hospitality business? How did you get to be here? I've spent all my career basically in South Florida, which is very unusual. Um, I've worked from the Boca Raton Resort and Club to Marriott South Beach, so it's been up and down the coast, and it's been all resorts. Um, I've worked at Marriott South Beach. I was at Eden Rock. Uh, we redid that hotel, spent over about $200 million redoing that property prior to coming here. As you know, my wife, my brothers, their spouses are all in the business, and uh, we love it. So what makes this hotel unique? Well, this hotel, you know, what makes it unique is the fact that it's the only five diamond property in Broward County currently. We have a lot of new luxury that's coming to the beach, which we welcome um, as Fort Lauderdale continues to develop. Uh, what makes Ritz Carlton, you know, special is that it is, you know, rated by J.D. Powers as the number one luxury brand in the world. And um, that's not just, you know, it, it's done because the ladies and gentlemen that work in the property. Um, I've worked in great hotels, great brands, uh, but they truly love what they do. You know, mm. in our credo, one of the things that we talk about is the highest mission is a genuine care of our guest. Mm. And I can truly tell you that the 320 plus ladies and gentlemen that work in this property, um, go through a very extensive interview process to make sure that they're the right people to be in this building. And they truly serve from their heart. They mm. love being here. You know, we can build beautiful buildings, spend a lot of money on them. Um, but if you don't have the service culture in the building, mm. it's not going to get you um, the accolades that this hotel gets because of the ladies and gentlemen. They do a phenomenal job. And I know that you just went through a, a renovation. You completely redid your food and beverage because tell mm -hmm. us about Burlock Coast. It happens to be obviously one of my favorites. I, know. We appreciate I, that very I much. come We're here for lungs a lot. The biggest thing that we did was a um, game changer really for Ritz Carlton. Um, you know, typical Ritz Carlton, you'll walk in and you'll see the white table cloth linen, you know, very elegant. Um, and we still have that in certain properties where if you're in Chicago, New York or DC, that type of restaurant is still warranted and mm -hmm. there's a demand for it. But when you're on the beach in South Florida, um, you know, even our residents that fly in and, you know, they basically come here, they'll fly in on their private jet. Um, but what the first thing they want to do is put their shorts on, their flip flops, yeah. and a linen shirt. Yeah. You know, they don't want to go into that setting they just left in the Northeast or sure. somewhere. And they want to be able to go sit in our restaurant, which, as you know, Burlock Coast is. Um, very, um, it's a relaxed, you know, our sonography in our hotel is a relaxed nautical lifestyle. Mm. Um, so everything that we do in the building is tied into that one single line. Um, the building's designed to look and feel like a cruise ship. Um, so we carried that theme in the restaurant with Burlock Coast. It's basically taken us back in the history of Fort Lauderdale when everyone thought Fort Lickerdale was about spring day break and it actually was about the smuggling um, from the rum runners that used wow. to come in here and bring the rum in from the Bahamas. So we tied into that story of Burlock Coast, which is a, um, it's a bag made by Bill McCoy that's a triangle and you could fit six bottles of rum in. Three that's in the bottom. where the real McCoy came that's from. That's where the real McCoy, McCoy came, came from, from because if you got Bill McCoy's product, you had pure rum. It was not diluted, which a lot of the rum runners and prohibition uh, smugglers, they'd get the stuff in from the Bahamas or wherever and then they would dilute it with water. If you got Bill McCoy's product, it was the real McCoy. It was a real thing. Um, he basically said that he gave a product to people that they wanted. Um, but back to the burlock story, that bag basically would hold six bottles of rum and it was a triangle and he'd stuff it with straw and salt. And that bag you could pack in a boat and get a lot more rum packed in a boat than you could with the typical wooden crates. The really cool part about it was if he was coming over from the Bahamas, and all of a sudden maybe they saw a Coast Guard boat or a Navy boat and they were going to be boarded to see if they were smuggling. They could throw all the bags overboard and because of the salt, the bags would sink. So the Coast Guard would come, they would board the boat, they'd look, there'd be nothing on it, they'd leave. And in the meantime, that salt would be dissolving in that burlock hmm. bag. And eventually the straw and the bags and the bottles would all pop back up. <laughs> so it was an ingenious way to basically yeah. not lose your your goods or end up in jail. Yeah, know? and who would think that, and really, how creative that this is now the restaurant at the Ritz, yeah, you know? It's, it's, absolutely. It's, and it's, you know, I, what I love about the restaurant, it's got that really fun feel, and, and, and there's actually a rum room, too, yeah, right? Yeah. All these Rums, exotic from, rums all over the place. from all over the place. But it's, got, it's like an open-air feel, and it's got a very unique farm-to-table kind of uh, menu, so that's really great. We're going to actually come absolutely. back and talk to your chef later. So, Greg, 
you've told us about the Ritz brand and what makes this hotel special and unique. Why do you love Fort Lauderdale? You've been here uh, for a long time. Well, you know, I've been here since I was 19 years old, and you know, it's funny as it's changed and evolved. You know, it's gotten it's it's just it was great when I got here, but it's even just grown to be so much better. Uh, at the end of the day, anywhere you look in our hotel, like 90% of our guest rooms look at the water. Uh, so if you ask, what do I like about it? It's the yachting capital of the world. It's a boating place. You can jump on a boat, be in the Bahamas in two hours, mm -hmm. um, which I do a lot. I actually live on the water in Pompano Beach. And the nautical lifestyle fits my, my world, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. You know, I grew up diving here, fishing here. My kids grew up the mm -hmm. same way. They had a little boat, you know, a little whaler that they could take out with their friends and, mm -hmm. and go snorkel and just go to Lighthouse Point and play yeah. on the beach. And, you know, that's, that's our life. You know, when you come here, you know, you only see about 50% of Fort Lauderdale if you don't get on the water. Yeah. But if you get out on the water, it just opens up, you know, a whole new world to you. Mm -hmm. And for me, that world is what's kept me here and, and really drew me into to being in Fort Lauderdale. And one final question. Where are your guests coming from, Greg? Our guests come from all over the world, but mostly they come from the Northeast. They come mm -hmm. from uh, Chicago. They come from uh, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Dallas. But the majority are coming out of New York, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Boston, you know, mm -hmm. that area. This is truly even our ownership groups, you know, a lot of Midwestern, uh, but mostly uh, your New York Northeast customer. Yeah, you know, this, yeah. is their, this is their summer getaway, our yeah. winter getaway. You know, they get off, get out of that suit, get out of that office and yeah, come relax. to the Ritz and they're actually able to put on their flip flops and enjoy the best of um, Greater Fort Lauderdale. Greg, thank you so much for taking us through your beautiful hotel and letting us know about yourself and your rich, rich history in the hospitality business. Thank you so much for making a difference with Fort Lauderdale and for creating this beautiful hotel for so many people to enjoy around the world. Ina, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to see you. Appreciate you being here and hope to see you more, especially in our spa. Oh yeah, and Burlock <laughs> Coast. <laughs> Absolutely, I know you're regularly there. We're gonna work on the spa. The next. spa, anytime. All right, fantastic, yeah. thank you. Great, great having you here.